September 1966 issue of Scientific American, Stanford professor Patrick Supis predicted that, quote, in a few more years, millions of school children would have access to a computer-based personal tutor smarter, more responsive, and better informed than Albert Einstein. And then the dream just kinda died. I, I mean, we got faster computers, and we got video games, and we got VR, and we got the internet, and, and YouTube, and whatever this is, but what happened to the genius tutor? Well, I'll show you in just a minute. But first, as you can probably tell from my channel, I've always loved the challenge of learning new language. But I've also learned that learning a new language can be really, really difficult. Hiring a language tutor can be really helpful, but not everybody can afford them. And even if you can afford them, you're not always assured that you'll find someone who teaches you a language in the most effective way. Now, not too many people know this, but I actually have a background in tech. I actually worked as a professional software engineer for several years before my YouTube career took off. Wow, do I look young in these pictures. Now that artificial intelligence is on the rise, I think that very soon, the way that people learn foreign languages will change forever. Just imagine, what if there were a genius level teacher who's available for you 24 seven at very low or no cost and personalizes every single lesson for you based on your strengths and weaknesses, all without the often intense social anxiety that comes from interacting with native speakers one-on-one. -on -one. Wouldn't that change everything? That's why my team and I have started building an artificial intelligence tutor that, as a modest first step in this broader vision, can teach you a language from scratch. Think about it like having a personal language genius available in your pocket 24-7 to teach you a language at your own pace at a fraction of the cost of any human tutor. It's a speech-based tutor that can teach you a new language from scratch in your native language, can engage you in conversation practice in your target language, and can correct pronunciation and explain grammar at whatever level you'd like it to. And it tracks your progress over days and weeks and months and years and personalizes every single lesson for you based on your strengths and weaknesses. And today I'll be sharing a first glimpse of what such a teacher actually looks like. And by the way, just to be clear, my dream is not to eliminate human teachers. Like I've taught languages in person for many years, both in free and paid positions. And I actually think that this technology works best as a complement to rather than a replacement for human tutoring. But with that said, here is a demo of what we've been working on. Everything you're about to see was generated on the fly by a computer with the only edits being minor ones for latency. And if you like what you see and you're interested in helping bring this vision to life, please consider adding your email address to our email list at streetsmartlanguages.com slash AI or just click the link in the description below. We have the ambition to turn this into something really big and make it available to the entire world. And if you want to be a part of it and potentially get early alpha access, make sure you sign up now. All right, people, we're about to test this out. Check this bad boy out right over here. Uh, on my computer and we're gonna attempt to test the bot at three different levels beginner intermediate and advanced and See if it can perform at these different levels. I've never tested it like this So I really hope this works, but do keep in mind. This is a very very early version of this technology. So here we go I really hope this works. Oh Yeah, we are talking with uh, John Wade today Hi, hello Nice to meet you. What's your name? Ari. Hi Ari. It's a pleasure to meet you. Where are you from? New York. That's great, Ari. New York is an amazing city. Why would you like to learn Chinese? I don't know. Uh, I'm making a YouTube video. That sounds like a fun project. Are you a beginner in Chinese, or do you have some experience already? I'm a beginner. Let's start with the basics. To tell someone your name in Chinese, you can say, 我叫Ari. This means my name is Ari. Remember that you can click on the Chinese words to learn their meanings and pronunciations. <laughs> you see, wo jiao. Wo jiao ari. Very good. You've got that right. Now let's learn some common greetings. Great. To say hello in Chinese, you can say, Ni hao. Ni hao. Ni hao ma. This means, how are you? Ni hao ma. Now, let's learn how to respond to how are you. To say, I'm fine in Chinese, you can say, Let's try a deliberately bad response here. Let's see, let's see what it does. Tom and Hun Hao. Shit, I don't even know if this is gonna work. Good job. You wrote, they are fine. Which is, <laughs> Now that you've learned a few basic phrases, <laughs> let's practice cool. them together. Ni hao ma? Oh my god. Hun <laughs> Hao. Excellent. You've got the hang of these basic phrases. Pretend you just met someone new. Use ni hao, hello, to greet them in Chinese. Ni hao. He hao. Ari. You've used ni hao correctly to greet someone. Now, I'll teach you how to say nice to meet you in Chinese. Hen gao xing ren shi ni. Hen go hing ying sing nei. Great attempt, Ari. 
Although the pronunciation isn't exact, you're well on your way to mastering Chinese phrases. Oh my god! Let's keep practicing. <laughs> 很高兴认识你。很高兴认识你。非常好 ，Ari。你说的很好。Very good, Ari. You said it very well. Like、so far, you've learned how to say your name, <laughs> greet someone, and say nice to meet you in Chinese. I'm proud of your progress. Are you ready to move on to the next lesson? Can you teach me something a little bit more advanced? Of course. Let's learn how to ask how was your day. In Chinese, 你的一天过得怎么样 All right, now now let's just go off the rails right now. 我今天过得很好，谢谢 Great job, Ari. You said I had a good day today. Thank you. Which is, 我今天过得很好。谢谢。Keep up the good work. 我们只讲中文，好不好？好的，我们现在可以继续只用中文交流。下一个问题，最近您在做什么有趣的事情？我最近在做一个人工智能的中文老师。I cannot believe this is so bad. 哇，那真的很有趣。人工智能学习和教授语言是非常有潜力的领域。请问您在这个项目中遇到了什么挑战？请问挑战是什么意思？挑战是一个名词，它的意思是在完成某项工作或者实现某个目标的过程中所遇到的困难和难题。Thank you for that explanation. You're welcome. If you have any more questions or need further clarification, please let me know. Are you ready for the next Chinese lesson? Yeah, let's do it. 很好。那么你想学中文是为了你的 YouTube 视频，对吗 ？This means great. So you want to learn Chinese for your YouTube video, right? 对啊，是为了我的 YouTube 视频。太棒了，学习中文会对你的视频增色添彩。So if you're like me, it was hopefully really exciting to see what that tutor could do. And also like me, hopefully you agree that this technology has the potential to completely revolutionize the way that we learn foreign languages. And and ultimately, I think everything. But we're starting with languages because that's what I know best. Do you want to be a part of this mission? If so, please consider adding your email address to our list for free. StreetSmartLanguages.com or the link in the description below. We're gonna ask you for your input, your feedback, keep you up to date on our progress, and hopefully very soon give you a chance to try it out for yourself. Wow, I can't believe this is actually happening, but here we go.